Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Erica. I know it has been a little bit since I've vlogged for you guys and even just since I've uploaded a video. I've just been in this like existential crisis slash funk that really comes around a couple times a year for me. So that just made me very unmotivated to film and upload for you guys. But I am getting my life back together or at least getting it somewhat back in order after just being super like uninspired i just wanted to vlog today because i miss you guys and i miss chatting with you all and keeping you in the loop about my life anyways this morning i have some leftover coffee from yesterday i'm sorry i think that's gross i don't like to waste it and usually it still tastes really good the next day so we're gonna try it i mean it definitely depends on where i get the coffee from like the cafe and stuff I'm gonna pour this into a mason jar just because I don't really want to make hot coffee right now because it's not cold outside and I'm gonna sit outside but I definitely think I'm gonna go get coffee today that's the other thing I still have no idea what I'm gonna do today but I have quite a couple things to do I need to make like a to-do list here's my coffee let's taste it this was just a uh, the refrigerator just turned on. Thank you. This was just an iced oat milk vanilla latte, so let's try it. I like it. I'll drink it. <laughs> While I drink my coffee, before I go outside, I want to make a little to-do list. So I have my little notebook, a little third eye on the front. So cute. I got this at Target. Then I also have my affirmation gratitude journal. So I am going to write in that outside but I'm going to make my to-do list right now. This is a total tangent, but I've also been stuck on like what videos to film for you guys. I love vlogging, obviously, but sometimes I just feel like my life is repetitive. But see, when other YouTubers say that about their vlogs, I'm like, well, I would watch your vlogs regardless because I just love watching the person, you know, vlogging, no matter what they're doing. So I don't know if that's how other people feel. I know how helpful to-do lists are for me and yet still I don't do them every day but just there's something so satisfying about like creating little boxes and then checking things off as you get them done. Like so so satisfying. So I'm now outside and I think I've decided what I want to do. I wrote up my to-do list, kind of highlighted and prioritized the things that need to get done today. But I also want to just have a really good day for myself doing things that I really enjoy. So while I'm also going to be productive, I think I'm going to go into town and get some coffee, go thrifting for a little bit and also go and sit in the town square and read my book and probably do some journaling as well. That just sounds like an ideal day to me and because I also have tomorrow to be on productive mode, I can kind of spread out the things over the two days. I've decided that I'm going to actually get ready for the day, I think, as well because I'll probably do some filming for Instagram stories later. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my gratitude journaling I'm about to start getting dressed. I'm actually not gonna do my makeup. I don't know if I'll do my hair yet. I might just straighten my hair or something, but I just remembered that I scheduled a brow wax appointment for later this afternoon. So there's no point in really doing my makeup if it's just gonna probably come off during the brow wax. So not gonna put on makeup today, but I am still gonna get dressed, still gonna drive into town. It's about 11 a.m. So I'll have like a good amount of time, I think. And then around like two, I'll head over to the brow wax place. I just desperately was in need of an eyebrow wax because they are just looking crazy if you see them from up close. I'm gonna get dressed right now. It's gonna be a little bit warm today so I'm going to find an outfit that fits that weather accordingly. Be right back. All right guys, here is the outfit I chose for today. So basically, I'm wearing this little light blue tank top from Urban Outfitters underneath these white overalls from Ganda Clothing and then my 
necklace. This one's from Bow and Arrow Clothing, and this one is from Amano Jewelry. My earrings are from, oh my gosh, a local seller from like a little craft market. I'm also wearing my, uh, I almost called these Doc Martens, <laughs> my Birkenstocks that I haven't worn in forever, but I forgot how much I love them. These are the vibes for today. So before I head out, I want to share with you guys some products that were sent to me from Public Goods. You guys, I've worked with Public Goods in the past and I absolutely love using their products. Like they are basically your one-stop shop for sustainable swaps. So if you're someone who wants to reduce your environmental impact and you kind of don't know where to start, Public Goods is going to be your best friend because they have so many affordable sustainable swaps that you can use in order for you to consume less single-use plastic products. Let me just show you guys a couple of the things that you can find on their website. And if you want to see my other vlog where I featured Public Goods, I will link that below because there's even more products that I share with you guys in that video. So the first thing I got is this Ayate washcloth, which is basically a washcloth for exfoliating. So you can buy this in place of other harsh exfoliators or loofahs that you typically buy at the store. This is free of any synthetic fibers, dyes, and BPA as well. This washcloth is derived from the agave plant actually and it is 100% biodegradable. Next up, another thing I'll be using in the shower is the shampoo bar that they have and this is actually paraben free, it's vegan friendly, it's sulfate free, gluten free, it only has natural fragrance and it's cruelty free as well and the ingredient list is super short which I love. I actually used to be a big fan of one of the shampoo bars that Lush sells but I kind of stopped using that and I'm super excited to try this one out. It smells so good. I think it's got rosemary and lavender. Next up, I believe I also got some of these last time when I worked with Public Goods, but these are mesh grocery bags, which are obviously reusable, great for produce. I will take these when I'm going to pick up celery or any other kinds of fruits and vegetables at the grocery store. And it's just perfect and easy. And it's got a little drawstring to like close it and it's a great size as well. So these are just a great alternative to the typical plastic ones that they have for you at the store. I also have these cotton reusable produce bags. These are a little bit smaller, but they say public goods on them, which is so freaking cute. Next thing I think is super important that we all try to switch over to, and it is compostable trash bags. Obviously, I think we all use trash bags in our households, but if we can just switch over to compostable ones, that will make a heck of a difference. Something you may not know is that conventional trash bags take up to a thousand years to degrade. To think about how long a plastic lives on for is just like insane to me and it's scary to think about. So you can find these on their website as well. Definitely, definitely try to pick some of these up guys. And the last thing is a reusable water bottle. Look at this one. I love how sleek and clean it looks. It's like a matte white water bottle that's like stainless steel. Guys, I think we all know how horrible plastic water bottles are for our planet. Of course, you can use it for hot or cold drinks to, you know, keep that temperature. Love this one. They have a couple other colors on the website. I will have links to all these things in the description box below, as well as a discount code for you guys and a link that you can go through to get the discount as well. But yeah, guys, definitely check out Public Goods. I absolutely love them. They are super affordable. Let me just say that again. I love my code right here for you guys to use on the website. Thank you so much Public Goods for sending me these items to try out. I absolutely love them all. Links in the description box below. Hi guys, I'm in my car now. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go to the thrift store. We'll see. I think my main thing is I just want to go and like read in the park and obviously get some coffee as well. Alright guys, so little update for you. I got my 
oat milk vanilla latte and then I went and sat in like the little square for a little bit um, I did a little bit of reading but it got really hot so I just decided to come to Goodwill right now so I'm gonna go in there and browse and see what they have I'm really looking for just clothes to wear during the summertime like really lightweight pieces so I'm now back in the car and I want to do a quick little haul and maybe when I get home I will do a try on first thing I got is this book called the secret I mean it is a classic like you guys I'm sure you've all heard of it but if you haven't then you should pick up the book or watch the documentary on Netflix it is so good I actually never owned the book I have only ever watched the movie and read the sister book called Called the magic so I wanted to pick this up because I think it was only like two dollars and then I got two of these little tank tops this is a black one both are from Urban Outfitters here we have a nice little white one but yeah they have like lace on the back and I don't know I just felt like they'd be like perfect to wear at home or like when I'm just chilling and then I love this little top okay so it's a little button up short sleeve top and it's got like little butterflies on it and it's like a yellow color perfect for summer I love these kinds of tops to like throw on over a tank or like a bathing suit even and then with my little bucket hat I just feel like it'll be a look so yeah I got this but I'm gonna wash everything later today I found some good stuff they didn't have a ton but I'm pretty happy with my purchases I think I'm going to go stop at like Starbucks and get a bagel and I still have some time before my brow appointment so I might go home for a little bit we'll see we'll see by the time that I get to Starbucks how much longer I have I just stopped by my house to drop off the things I thrifted and like my books and stuff and now I'm going to head to my eyebrow appointment so I'll probably get there like a little bit early I think it's always good to get there a little bit early because they still do like temperature checks and all that so now I'm gonna head to my appointment look at these brows they are just growing out like crazy so yeah I'm gonna head to my brow appointment all right guys I'm obviously back home now and I got my brows did I literally love them they look so much better than they did I think I'm gonna take like a little power nap and then after that I have to film like some content for IG stories I'm gonna chill and hang out for a bit want to show you guys what I thrifted so like I showed you guys this little blouse button down type thing with butterflies on it and then i was thinking paired with this little hat so cute this hat's from forever 21 but i really like this it's not a color that i'm typically used to wearing i kind of feel like a granny but like i don't know I think it will be a vibe over like a swimsuit or something. Next we have this little white tank that I showed you guys. This one is from Urban Outfitters and I got the same one in black. That's what the back looks like. It's just really cute. And actually last time I thrifted, I found these pants at the Goodwill as well. So I thought I'd show you guys. They're so comfy. I was actually looking for another pair like this today, but they only had one pair that was just like a little too big, so. That was a bummer, but I do really like this little tank top and I just got the same one in black. So yeah, good find, honestly, pretty happy. Hello guys, so I just took a quick like, I don't know, I think it was like a 30 minute nap, which was very needed. I just went downstairs and made some nice cream and it's so funny because I don't think I've had nice cream since like 2017 but I used to make this all the time especially when I first went vegan because it's basically like vegan ice cream and all it really is is blended bananas and then your choice of alternative milk so I just used almond milk. <laughs> to come and sit outside bring out my little blanket and just hang out out here I want to do some journaling from 
the prompts that are in this book that I've been reading. I've read two chapters so far and they both have different writing prompts and I haven't done either of them so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because I want to be super interactive with this book because it's really all about doing the inner work you know in order to heal so I really want to be going along with each prompt as I read or at least catch up on days like this when I have a little bit of extra time. Just thought I would hang out here for a little bit and do some writing. So it is like two hours later, but I am about to hop in the shower. My hair has grown significantly since I cut it back in December, um, but I'm getting a trim actually this week and I'm also adding blonde back into it oh i'm so excited you guys at first i was like super unsure about it lately i've just been craving like a change and so it's summertime the best time to have lighter hair i feel like maybe in the fall i'll go back to like this dark natural color of mine i'm definitely feeling that balayage summer vibe. I'm gonna shower and then I'm so excited. I ordered these little collagen eye zone gel masks on Amazon and I'm like so excited to try them out. So when I get out of the shower, I'm going to put them on under my eyes because my under eye circles are really dark and noticeable. I don't even know if these are actually gonna make a significant difference, but I feel like they'll just feel really nice regardless. So that's why I'm gonna use them. Fresh out the shower and the eye masks are on. They feel so good. You guys like so cooling. Oh, I'm obsessed.